guys welcome back with the new tutorials uh, we have to start the duct designing today so yesterday video in the yesterday video we have placed all the machine so in the air side so for the air side we have to complete so for the air side we have to do the duct designing okay so first of all we have to start with from very basic which is we have to do the designing with single line drawing first then we will prepare the shop drawing so let us start now so what you will do let us create uh, the layer first okay so type la okay and then you have to create new layer okay so to the layer number three is sec and then hbac hbac dot sad supply air duct and which is select any one of the color so i'm going to select this color for supply click ok and then line type is continuous and line weight you should keep uh, 0.3 ok double click to make this layer in current layer and then the, you have to single line drawing you have to draw with uh, a polyline so type pl for the polyline okay and you are uh, uh, this is software is asking the polyline is specify the start point so this is my start point click here and then here in the bottom command bar it is asking the width so for the width uh, type w enter and then specify the width so i'm going to specify 50 mm thickness and again 50 okay so like this just draw the polyline up to here okay and one more polyline to repeat the command just press the enter button here okay and here is uh, the end cap so just draw like this okay so this is your ducting and uh, just repeat the command like this this side okay and draw one more line from here to here okay so this is your duct designing with single line drawing so we have to do the designing this is just uh, i draw the line so now I start designing so you can see the total airflow for this machine is 566 cfm which will be divided into uh, which will be divided into two diffusers so each diffuser cfm will be let us check the 566 divided by 2 so each diffuser cfm is 283 liter per second so let me open this duct sizer tools so this is the duct sizer tools okay so first you have to click this uh, leader line so just draw one leader line here type le okay click here and like this okay and just uh, copy this text here okay just move this here double click to edit and you type here is it is supply adduct and uh, supply adduct space x by a space okay so this is the size and here is at at 166 liter per second okay 
select this one like this okay so and here one more little line command type le type le this is little line just copy this one <coughs> sad at 283 liter per second again copy this one this liter line go down move down paste it here 283 here again liter per second okay so now we have to do the designing okay so we will do the designing part now so let us open this text sizer tools and you can see here just change the unit so yes so you can see here in this text sizer tools there is flow rate and head loss <coughs> let me change the unit i want to put in a I want to put the flow rate in CFM so you can see the total flow rate is here 566 liter per second so just convert into CFM so 566 liters per second so 1 liter per second is equal to 2.119 CFM so total CFM is 1199 so here enter 1199 and you have to enter the two parameters so here is the i am going to enter the flow rate and head loss so head loss is 0 0.008 0 0.08 inches of water gas water gas per 100 feet of duct length generally for uh, residential and commercial building we are using 0 0.08 to 0 0.1 so i'm considering 0 0.08 inches of water gauge per 100 feet of duct length okay now you have to enter the height of the duct so it will calculate the software will calculate the width of the duct so just enter your 12 inch and just look into this so try to design the duct equal uh, equal size okay square in shape so just to reduce the friction loss so you can see once i entering the height the width is calculated here so i want to design the duct with uh, i want to design the duct uh, with uh, square shapes so i am entering the one more value which is 14 inch so the duct size here is 14 inch by 14 inch if you want to see this one in mm so you can just change the unit from here click on unit and yes so you can see here the duct size is 350 by 400 okay so i want to put it in inches so 14 inch by 14 inch here just double click or here you can enter or you can write as ad 14 inch is equal to 350 mm by 350 okay at 566 liter per second so this is your duct size here okay so what will be the duct size for this uh, 283 liter per second this this is the branch so this branch should be always less than the 50 mm less than this uh, main duct so what you will do 
just open this duct sizer and change the unit I just keep as it is so this should be half of this so just divide into two so 519 and CFL or 500 uh, 599 not 599.6 is equal to 600 so here is 600 CFM and the head loss do not change because this we are designing with the equal friction method so just change the height of the duct so it is 12 inch okay so I, I want to keep the height 10 inch so the duct size is 12 inch by 10 inch which is 300 by 250 here first you have to write the width of the duct then height of the duct so here is 300 by 250 is in mm okay double click so this is the duct size for this branch duct want to erase again type leader line le like this okay similarly for this one i want to put here elbow so i, I want to remove this okay and here type fillet f f for fillet enter and uh, type r r for radius and i want to keep the fillet at uh, fillet radius 100 mm click this line and this line okay so i want to place here elbow so this duct size completely is same duct size so here it will be the same as per because the airflow for this and this branch is same so duct size will be yet 300 by 250 300 by 250 mm okay so this is how we are uh, we are sizing the duct okay or designing the duct with duct sizer tools as per real practice in real practice okay so i hope you guys learn how to design the duct in how to size the duct with the equal friction method in real practice so this is first we have this is how we have to create all the ducting for all the spaces uh, with single line drawing diagram then we have to create uh, with the shop drawing so just use the fillet command and uh, here also you make feel it okay so i hope you guys learn how to create uh, how to design the duct in actual practice with equal friction method method so similarly we have to design all the duct for all the spaces for all the ducting so in the next tutorial we have to continue with the duct designing for other space so thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye